How's it going everyone? We got Christopher with Vapor Beast here. And today, I'm gonna to show you guys the Scaly Chaos Z. It's a new line, uh, a new device to their line of lineup devices. They got the Fuchai Glow, they got the original Chaos, and now the Chaos Z. You got a bunch of little lights on the sides, and what's really neat is it's just like all the other ones. It's a dual 18650 configuration. You can go all the way up to 200 watts on this, so it's got a little bit of a lower max on there, all the way down to 10 watts. You can build down to 0 0.05 ohms in temperature control, and then 0.1 in just normal wattage control. So it's a pretty basic and standard device. And then the screen, it's the same kind of colored screen that the Segele Chaos has. Being the Chaos's cousin, the Z, it's gonna have the same exact screen. So it's a pretty easy device to use, pretty much the same as any other Segele device. Really comfortable, really compatible if you've already used something like that. So let's go ahead and jump on to the next frame, get a little bit of a close up and see if I can tell you more about it. Here you go guys, that's the box for the Chaos Z. A little bit different from what Segele has ever done being that I actually got this really kind of cool sleeve on it. There's the back of it, if you want to pause and look at that, I don't know if you can see it or not, but go for it. So we'll pull that out, and you got a full view, still that kind of Z shape too, which is really cool, really marketing the, the name for it. But there it is, the fingerprinted up Sakali Chaos Z. So we'll just pop that out here, put it in front. Below you've got all your warranty cards, the directions, the uh, uh, warning cards as well, your certificate of authenticity, so you guys can check that out if you ever do get that. And then over here, you got a little USB cord that you can use to either charge the device or do firmware updates if they decide to put out firmware updates for it. But this guy's kind of cool. I don't know if all of you noticed, but you can actually see the whole board inside this device, which is pretty large. On the other side of it, you got a straight view into your batteries. So if I had orange batteries, I could have that paired up perfectly. On the front of the screen, it's a little bit harder to see than most, but that's the, uh, it's got like a screen protector on it where it makes everything a little bit darker and harder to see at different angles. But it's not that bad as long as you're looking directly at it. And then being part of the Chaos line and the Light Up line, you've got all these lights on the side. So you can change those to the different colors. They have the six preset colors as well as a new color mode function that you can choose the amounts of particles for red, green, and blue. So you can potentially have over a million colors, which is pretty kind of nice. One thing though is it's really bright. So at nighttime, you're gonna be shining up someone's face, your face, maybe the inside of your car if you're driving at night. It might look like a party in your car. And it's not too bad of a thing, but maybe to most it's bad. So that's pretty much about it. It's a really simple device. There's your 510. It's really well made, real nice. This device even has a good weight to it as well, which kind of threw me off, especially being that it's a uh, plastic window. But let's go ahead and jump onto the next frame and we'll conclude this video. Thing definitely helps produce. When you got a straight wattage control device like that and you throw a TFP12 on there, it's definitely gonna give you a lot of vapor. This thing's kind of been nice to use. The fire button's really pronounced on it, a little bit more than some of the other Segele devices, more original Segele devices have been, but it's still kind of that flush sitting to it. The screen was probably my only issue with this because at certain angles it can be hard to see, but it's really workaroundable. Other than that, it's kind of nice having this light up board and then your lights are kind of wish washed around all over the place and you get light up pretty much anything. Hey, you lose your keys in your house, you just don't want to turn your lights on, well, use a light on the side of your screen for your device. This thing's pretty cool though. If you guys want to check it out, it's on our website. Just look up Sakali KSC. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all being here. Hope to see you next time. And don't forget, keep the beast.